As part of the natural language processing research initiatives, the researchers have developed an efficient and effective fuzzy matching system that can be used by any institution that needs to do sanction screening. Fuzzy matching is a technique that allows us to identify non-exact matches of our target item. It is the foundation stone of many search engine frameworks, as you can see in the image here. Fuzzy matching has many applications, such as record linkage, deduplications, and sanction screening. Sanction screening is an essential component of the Know Your Customer process. It allows financial institutions to identify the risks associated with customers and helping to build a clean customer base, free of money launderers and terrorist financiers. This leads us to two technical problems. The first technical problem is different sources with different languages. As you can see in this example, customer Iman Ahmed Ali's data exists on multiple databases, but with other languages and different spellings. The second issue is matching at scale. If a bank has 9 million registered customers and there's a need for an external transaction list with 2 million records that need to be matched with the current data set, then there will be 18 trillion record pairs. Even if you have a powerful machine, this is an immense number of matches. This motivated us to start developing an Arabic and English fuzzy name matching system. Our system has three main features. First, it is flexible and supports search in Arabic. We developed a hybrid AI-based model to transliterate words from English to Arabic and vice versa. Also, it is very precise. We developed new matching and scoring algorithms that work on two levels, token as well as record level. And finally, search speed is high. We developed efficient multi-level filters that help narrowing the search space. To simplify the demo, we have four scenarios. First, a full name search. The user can set up the search parameters such as the threshold for similarity ratio, the number, the Q grams, and the method used for verification. Then he can search by the full name, which is the first name, middle name, and the last name. Then click search. As we can see here, the results will appear in a form of a list arranged according to similarity score to the queried name. Second, search for part of the name. For example, first or last name. He can search by the first name, then click search. We note that the number of results is greater than the search by full name. The user can see all the results just by clicking on the page number or increasing the number of records per page. Third, search in a language different from the standard language, such as English, meaning we will search in Arabic. For example, the user can enter the full name in Arabic letters, then click on search. The system using deep learning algorithms transliterates the Arabic name into English, retrieves similar records, and displays them in a list ranked by the similarity score. The user can also perform a search with part of the name, for example, using the first name Ahmed. The system retrieves similar records and displays them in a list ranked by the similarity score, as we can see here. And fourth, search for a list of names in the database. Here, the system's efficiency and speed are tested as the search and comparison process conducts more than half a trillion operations.